Hi guys. So a couple months back, it's been a while back, I placed an order on ColourPop.com and I bought a whole lot of products. So no particular order. We're first gonna go with Echo Park. Ooh, I love my nudes. This, I have to get at least one nude guys. Come on, right? <laughs> Mauve rosy color. So it's not too light, which I like because I have a lot of really light nudes and stuff. Do you open a product and then you put it back in its original packaging and then it just stays in its original packaging or is it just me? It's kind of weird. Oh, this color is so fun. It's called marshmallow. Can you guess what color marshmallow is? No, it's not white. That would be pretty cool though. I need to create a look to wear this lip color. See? Look what I just did. I just put it back into its original packaging. Gh. Tansy. I don't know why I'm showing you Tansy. It's like, take it out of the box. This is the most brown shade that I own in my makeup collection. I don't have a lot of browns in terms of lip products. It's got that 90s vibe and that's why I got it. Next up is Cozy. And this one, from what I remember, is a bright orangey neon. Yes. It looks like this simple eye and then like a pop of bold on the lips. Look, I should have called this happy instead of cozy, but that's just me. Such a pretty happy color. We have prim. Oh, prim. Look at this. So dark and sexy looking. Frickin' frack. Frickin' frack is from what I know a really popular color on ColourPop's website and it's this easy to wear pink. So I would say it's a bit darker than Echo Park. The rabbit in this one is bright. This one I'm probably gonna have to put away for a little bit while I do the nice darker grungier fall colors you know. Okay last time I checked which was today. These products are still on the ColourPop website. Next one is called Petite Four. It's like a turquoise gray color. Very different. That's why I got it. I'm like, I, I'm always up for getting really unique colors that I can't find everywhere. All these so far are ultra satin lips, meaning that they don't dry down completely. They're ultra matte lips, if you guys are familiar with that, they dry down and they tend to be a bit on the drying side. From what I know, it's quite drying, especially on people with dry lips. I opted for the satin lips, which um, give you that nice satiny, not yet glossy feel to them. It does tend to transfer. Um, if you're not careful, you wipe it a little bit, it will transfer into your cheek. Or, you know, when you're drinking, you're eating, it will come off. But it's just a lot more comfortable on the lips. Tulips! I really like tulips. This is tulips. I don't know, there's something about this color that I'm like, oh, wow. This one, it's actually what's on my lips. Boom. It's what's on my lips right now. This is tulips. That's what it looks like. And the last ultra satin lip product I have here is called Mess Around. Darker grayish color like that. And then I decided to get one of these mini sets of their ultra matte lip last dance. It's a darker orangey red. Something that you can really pull off in the colder months. I have to be careful. One time I was putting this product on my face. It was one of these colors and I tipped the tube over. And these are really watery so it came like dripping out all over my pants and I was like <gasps> and you can't wash them off. This is glitter and I would say comparing to the rabbit, glitter is more purple. I've seen pinks like this but I don't really own a lot of pinks that are bright but not too light so I really like Be Merry. Look at Times Square, such a pretty nude Bianca but this one leans more pink. And then I got two of the lippy sticks. It's called Charm and it's in their satin formula. So they have different formulas like glossy, satin, matte. And I just really love their satin formula because it's much more hydrating. Look, Charm. Oh my gosh. This is more like a party festival type color. Next one, 
is called wet and it's in their pearlized formula. So it's more like metallic y looking. And now let's jump into the eye products. As soon as I saw on the website, I'm like, I have to own this. This is called Too Shy. Look at that. I love names like that where the name is the opposite of what the product or let's say a pet looks or seems like, you know? Like if someone has a really tiny dog and his name's Giant, I'll be like, oh, so adorable. I love names like that. So this one, shockingly blue and it's called Too Shy. What a perfect name. So quiche, soft glam look or a smoky eye. It's like olivey brown, but the glitter and shine in it is a pink. Eye candy, pinkish lavender color. I just want a tad of color on the eyes, a new lip, a bit of highlight, I'm out the door type thing, and that's the color I would reach for. Millionaire, light brown with rose gold glitter in it. This next one is called sequin. I love colors like this where it's like a coppery color. La la, straight up rose gold color. This rose gold on the eyes, perfection. Dramatic but soft colors. This is a color I like to reach for, la la. You know, some days you're not like really into the black smoky eye or the dark blue smoky eye type thing. You just want something feminine, sophisticated. Then la la, especially if you like rose gold again, you must own Lala. So Flipper looks like this. It's an orange color, like a really light orange with a bit of glitter in there. This is called Fantasy. I'm speechless. Look at this color. <laughs> this is called Erotic. And it's a very like, look at me type color. This one is called Animal. Bam! Oh, man. You, you guys know how much I like Essie's Bikini Sotini, like that periwinkle blue color. Oh, by the way, no nail polish. I've been on nail polish detox? Nail detox for the past month because I've had nail polish on for years, like back to back, every single week a different color for years on end. And I just wanted to give my nails a break. I do miss nail polish and having color on my nails because it just looks so much prettier and put together but at the same time right now I don't have to worry about chipping and switching up colors and things like that so good and bad I don't know I don't know how long I can last doing this nail detox I think very soon or maybe not I don't know I shouldn't say that periwinkle blue this one look at this I haven't even touched it yet and I don't want to. Reason why I got this, I wanted to do a periwinkle liner with this. I think it will look so pretty. So this is Wisp. Lunch money, a lot lighter. Right there next to it. Let me put this on here to show you. Look! Just a little bit and it's like, wow. Butterfly Beach. And this is definitely the darker out of the three. It looks like that. So this is Wisp. This is Wisp, Lunch Money, Butterfly Beach. Da -da -da. So that is it for my ColourPop haul. We went through everything. Yes. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any recommendations for ColourPop products, let me know down in the comments because I would love to know what you guys like too. I'll see you tomorrow.